Welcome to the newest installment of the Untitled Film Nerd Project. My name is Philip, and joining me as always is Tijer. Hello. And today we're going to talk about Sweetheart. Before we get into it, spoiler warning now! If you want to avoid spoilers, skip ahead to the time code you see on the screen. Alright, so let's get into it. So, what'd you think of Sweetheart? This is a... it wasn't great. Mm-hmm. Was it bad? It's all right. Movie. Like, it in no way wowed me or was overly impressive, but it also didn't stray too far into the negative side of things. Other than a couple nitpicks later, it was the definition of average. Mm -hmm. And that's not meant as an insult. It's just, it's just average. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, yeah, I like this all right. Uh, kind of on the same sentiment that you are, you know, I didn't love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was still entertained. And considering most of the movie is just one girl on an island, mm -hmm. still keeping me entertained for that is, you know, bravo on that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, pretty much the rest we'll get into. But mm -hmm. overall, yeah, I liked it. Okay. Well, there were some things that I liked. I was going to say this in the intro, but that would be before the spoiler warning. So I'll say it now. <clears throat> this movie is called Sweetheart, a.k.a. The Real Hole in the Ground. Ha. Ha. Okay. So one of the things I actually liked. I'm glad it didn't rely on jump scares. Every single time I see that Bloomhouse has produced the movie that I'm about to watch, I tense up. So thankfully, there was none of that nonsense. You brought it up. For a movie that had five characters, one that died almost immediately, one that wasn't even human, it did a decent job of fleshing the story out. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't a whole lot of story here. As said earlier, it was like an A to B to C kind of movie. Uh, the co-writer, director, J.D. Dillard's direction was again... Fine. No glaring flaws, but nothing that was amazing. And for having such few full-length movie projects under his belt, I'll give him kudos. We've seen a lot worse from up-and-coming directors. The main positive for me, Kiersey Clemens did a really good job as Jen. Oh, yeah. She had to carry this movie, and she did well with what she was given. I like how adaptable and resourceful the character of Jen was written. Like, her friend had been impaled. She wastes no time taking it out. Like, no, one, two, three. No, just yank. <laughs> like, she didn't even take, I was like, awesome. Uh, she hears noises. She doesn't yell or call out. You know, hello, hey, anything like that. Uh, she sees the friend she's buried, dug up and mutilated, immediately makes a weapon. A storm is coming. She sets out stuff to catch the rainwater. Uh, she sees a weird as fuck creature. She immediately tries to get off the island. That fails. She crawls inside of a log, <laughs> which was triggering my claustrophobia big time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's in the log being attacked. Doesn't scream. Creature stalking about on the ground. Builds a hammock high in the trees to sleep. Um, a moment that was a personal yes for me. She has the creature down. I write in my notes, stab it in the head. And 10 seconds later, she does just that. It's like, yes. Back to Jen seeing the weirdest fuck creature. It reminded me that I really liked how the creature was introduced with her shooting the flare gun. Yes. Yes. And the light. Yeah, that was such a fantastic shot. And a fantastic introduction. Yes, yeah, so it was such a well-done reveal. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, now the movie shifted. Like, we saw the hole in the ocean, which I also liked. But that, that was like, okay, now this is what we're dealing with. Later on in the plot, I like that they never explained the blood in the raft or the blood on the knife. And even when Mia's facial expression changes before she hits Jen in the face with the oar, we're not even sure who was the one that used it, like the knife, since both Mia and Lucas came across that they could have done whatever it was. Yep. They both seem really fucking shady. Obviously, we can infer what happened. We don't know who or when or anything like that. And this is a movie where it really wasn't important. Yeah. It was simply there as a warning sign to Jen to be on her guard. I don't know about you, but after she killed the creature, were you expecting one to show up behind her silhouetted by lightning in the sky? Yeah. Yeah. yeah kind of. Yeah. I'm glad it avoided that trope. Mm-hmm. Um, again, this is another movie that didn't have to explain its lore or origins. And that part of it I liked. I was perfectly fine with knowing that it came from a black hole in the ocean. Was I intrigued what it was and where it went? Oh, definitely. But showing me would have killed the mystery, which is one of the only stronger elements this film had going for it. And the last thing I liked, Brad's lips. Beautiful lips. What about you? What did you like? Um, much. And much of it is stuff that you brought up. You know, I loved Jen. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked the fact that at no point did she freak out, but she still expressed emotion well. Yeah. Like, you could tell that she was worried or she was slightly panicked, but at no point did she let those emotions get the better of her. Right, yeah. 
Uh, I also like the little moments, like when she's trying to uh, clean that fish and she looks like it's making her sick. Mm -hmm. You know, the actual activity of doing it. And as you brought up, she was just very resourceful. Yeah. And it kind of reminded me of uh, if the character from your next yep. ended up on a deserted island. Yep, yep. And then the creature. Uh, loved the intro. Mm-hmm. Loved the creature itself. Uh, it's been a long time since we've had a decent, well-done, practical effects, mostly practical effects-based creature. Mm-hmm. And I think they did a really good job with it. The behavior of the creature was done well, and it was mostly a lot of not showing us the creature. Right, yeah, yeah. The moments that they picked to show the creature were the right moments to show the creature. And then I also liked how at the end, as you brought up, Jen stabs the creature's head. And not only does she stab it, she removes that head. Mm -hmm. And I think the entire point was if she gets off that island, she's going to have that thing as proof that some major shit went down. Right, yeah. (laughs) And, and it's good thinking on that, too, because how many times in a horror movie have we seen where something mysterious happens and the survivor has absolutely no proof that shit went down? Mm-hmm. So it was, once again, good thinking on her part. And then, as you were talking about the mystery of it all, um, it very much se- seemed like Jen and her friends had their own storyline going on in another movie. Mm-hmm. And that movie ha- had nothing to do with this movie. Their life went on and... Bad shit happened, and they encountered this island. And through that method of storytelling, as you said, it's not important whatever happened. Right. And I really like that. And I'm really liking that there's seems to be a current trend of American horror movies that are doing less of spoon feeding yes. every detail to us. Yes, agreed. So bravo on that. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely. So, so yeah, yeah. Those were all the major things for me. Right on. Well, there were some things I thought could have been improved. Uh, the number one thing for me, and we're going to disagree on this slightly, I think they showed way too much of the creature. In particular, the scene in the raft. It looked like a puppet's head sticking out of the water. Mm-hmm. It kind of killed the intrigue. I mean, the creature design was okay-ish. It could have come off better had they kept it in the dark. I didn't like Lucas's berating of Jen when she was tied to the tree. Yeah. It felt like it was trying a little too hard to make him the all of a sudden douche with a lot mm. of unneeded backstory on Jen that I don't really think did much for her character. Um, so making me hate them like uh, Mia and Lucas worked because in the end, I'm glad they were both killed because fuck them. Uh, after Mia gets taken, I wrote my notes. Who's running their mouth now, Lucas? <laughs> 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 you dick. <laughs> <laughs> then Jen says, there's nothing you could have done. And I'm all, well, except maybe fucking listen to your girlfriend and not be a holier than thou dickhead. Well, uh, this is when you insert the I told you yeah, so. Yeah, <laughs> don't be afraid to say it. Like Mia would, might still be alive, maybe. We don't know. Probably not, mm-hmm. but still we don't know. And side note, before it was established that she knew them both, I was like, dude is getting uncomfortably gropey with Jen there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's okay now it's okay i'm like what the fuck are you doing dude you just i didn't know like we didn't know they were like you know an item so i'm like what the fuck this is really weird i'm just like dude you found someone else it's okay like back <laughs> off a little bit holy crap how long were you in that water right? <laughs> three hours <laughs> uh and this is a nitpick but before she found the suitcase of clothes i was like she should have taken brad's shoes Mm-hmm. in the beginning um because brad had shoot i mean they, yeah they're probably been too big for her but it would have been better than walking around barefoot you know exploring the tiny island it was a very tiny island <laughs> yeah i was like he has shoes you could wear so take them i would have taken them mm-hmm. actually i would have taken like all the clothes just you can make you can you can use them like yeah so i thought that was for her being so survivalist and and, and ready for stuff i thought that was a little like you know flaw there Mm-hmm. And then finally at the end, it shows Jen walking towards the shredded raft. And I'm like, you may as well stay there. You have the largest signal fire you're ever going to have. Those are all things that I did not care for. What about you? Or thought could have been improved. What about you? Just kind of what you can t- kind of touched upon with the entire plot of Lucas and Mia. Because as you said, you know, if the goal was to make you hate them, it worked. Mm-hmm. But was that goal even necessary? You know, they could have made them actual fleshed out good characters and their death still wouldn't have changed much of the plot at all. So 
you could have omitted them completely. Yeah, yeah. And I think that would have been perfectly fine, too. Mm-hmm. I think the movie was going in a good direction until the show. Yeah, up. agreed, agreed, yeah, yeah. Everything was going fine on the movie as far as um, its direction, but when the two of them showed up, it just kind of affected the flow of the movie. Yeah, so. it did, agreed. Yeah, And, and yeah, so I would I would have just completely omitted them. I mean, the girl was good enough on her own mm-hmm. to carry the entire film. Agreed. Yeah. So, yeah. but but that's pretty much it. Well, and also, it's a minor nitpick, but why is this movie called Sweetheart? Because he called her it once. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> most most misleading time. Because I go into movies not knowing anything. If I can, I knew nothing about this other than the title. Mm-hmm. And then halfway through the movie, I'm like, when the fuck does the significance of the title come in? And then, and then, yeah. and then Lucas, Lucas calls her sweetheart once. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you say so, movie. Okay. That's it. All right. Uh, all things considered, would you recommend it? Yes. Yes, I think I would. You? Yeah, but just don't go into it expecting something, like, you know, phenomenal. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a good way to just, like, have a mindless 80 minutes. Mm-hmm. or so of screen time whatever long it was main actress does a good job so watch it for that at least mm-hmm. anything else you would like to add no i think that about covers it well that wraps up this episode thank you for listening if you like the video please hit the like button share it with your friends or cool people who might dig the vizcast please subscribe to the channel including hitting that notification bell to stay up to date on the newest content. And there is a link in the description below for the Patreon that covers all of the creative endeavors, as well as access to bonus content. So please consider showing your support. And until next time, my name is Philip. And I'm TJ. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.